Good morning, everybody. So today we're going to go over Mojo Dialer. Uh, it's a new system to be able to dial your contacts um, and let the system kind of dial and look up a neighborhood or a farm and then call on that neighborhood. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. And we're going to go to mojodialer.com. If you don't have an account for Mojo Dialer, reach out and get one set up. We're going to click Mojo Dialer and we're going to go ahead and log in. Mm -hmm. Now, once, once we log in, so we're going to click log in, the pin 268689. And then as far as um, getting an account set up, just reach out and get your account set up. And once you log into your account, this is the desktop of the Mojo Dialer. So the first thing you're going to want to do um, to use this scenario, so say you were starting a new farm. You're like, you know what, I want to go market. I want to go over to uh, ABC Street and I want to call all of the neighbors on ABC Street to tell them about a new listing that just came up, to tell them uh, about uh, what's going on in the neighborhood. Maybe you want to offer free market analysis. Maybe you want to let them know that you just got a listing around the corner. Maybe you want to let them know that there was a sale around the corner. You're pretty much starting your farm. Um, this is a way that you can start your farm. So ultimately you want to make your phone calls. You want to go drop something off in the neighborhood uh, and you want to hit them on social media. Those are, you know, those are the three concepts of mailing, calling and door knocking and then social media. Um, so you mail them something, you call them about it, and then you go knock on the door and leave something at their door. And then and when they're on social media, they're seeing you too. That's a campaign. So whether you're campaigning on a brand new neighborhood or you're following up with a campaign that you've been doing on a neighborhood, the goal is, is you're farming. So you're planting seeds and you're, you're slowly watching it grow. And as people, when the timing is right, then they reach out because you are constantly in front of them. So with the dialer, what you do is you come over here and you click lead store. And what's nice is you can click map free plotting area. So you call your title company and say, I want to get a, a title report or I want to get names and addresses for everybody in this map zone. You get that from the title company. You come here to map and you type in say Napomo and you match your map to the area that you're looking for. So as you can tell, there's Napomo right there. Oops. Okay. There's Napomo. I'm going to scroll down. And I want to go from, you know, I'm just going to do a wide search everywhere. There you go. So I picked this area. So I would tell the, the title company, hey, I want this surrounding area. So now I'm going to say show leads. There are 98 people that were found in that neighborhood, but 49 of them are on the do not call list, which means, which means we have a total of, you know, whatever the difference is. So we have the total of the difference um, to make phone calls to. So we would hit import. This is considered a scrubbed list. So with that scrubbed list means that you are within your right to call these people because they're not on the do not call list. You understand you would call this maybe Napomo as your farm. There it is. And you would hit finish import. So you've imported 49 records now. So if you come over here to the data dialer, you're going to see that there's a call list right here. And here's all the people to call. So whether you call these people first or maybe you went over to that neighborhood and you drop stuff off and now you're following up and calling them saying, hey, I just wanted to let you know I dropped something off a couple days ago about what's going on in the market. Um, do you want more information about that? They say, sure, there you go. Uh, you can either call first or you call second. But the goal is, is to try to create this cold market to a warm market. So you'd come over here to pick your call list. So there's my call list. I'd hit power dialer. And it's going to say call from the list where I left off before. And down here is everybody's, um, the caller ID is something you have to set up. So in your settings, you're going to set this up, but you need to set up what is your caller ID. You can use the company's phone number. Um, so I'd come over here and hit add. 805-864-2566. 
and you'd call this Hubble Real Estate Group. Verify, and it's gonna be calling me right now to verify. So you come over here and you pick what do you want the public to see as your caller ID. You're also gonna add your own voicemail to where if they don't answer, you can click a button along the edge and just drop a voicemail and keep going. So it's gonna be a generic voicemail. Hey, thank you so much. I wanted to let you know about a listing down the street. Give me a call back. Um, sorry I missed you, I'll try you again later. Something along those lines. So you're gonna set your settings up on what you want. Um, if you have a call script, if you have a call script that you like to use when you make your phone calls, you can actually add your call script in and you can say automatically show my script when someone answers. So then your script and their information pops up. Anyway, you would hit start dialing and it's gonna tell you, do you wanna dial these numbers? Yes, you start dialing and now it's gonna say connecting to the dialer and it's gonna tell you with your cell phone, please call this number and enter this pin in. Once you do that, you'll be connected to Mojo. It'll pop up and it'll say, start dialing. You say, yes, um, I'm not gonna start dialing. But once you start dialing, um, you'll have all your settings. Again, here's your settings. So if you go settings, and this is where you would set up your caller ID, your voicemail. Um, down here, you would set up your call script. So you'd hit here and hit create call script, and you can upload whatever call script you want. But you get your settings all set up, and you start your dialing. And as your goal is, is to start creating appointments. So as you're talking to people, they're gonna say yes or no you're gonna label that person, whether or not it's a hot lead, a warm lead, a follow-up, a trash, you'll be able to set appointments, you'll have a reminder, and you'll start creating a call list. So one will be Napomo, and then this will, the next list, when you start transferring these people over, it'll say Napomo hot lead. And you're gonna take all these leads and filter them down to people that actually wanna be contacted once a month. And now you have a farm of people that you're calling on, letting them know and asking for the business and keeping them up to date and what's going on in the market. And now you have your calls, you know, systemized. And now your calls need to match all the other marketing that you have going on. So this is Mojo Dialer. They have a great help video up here. They have great customer support if you have questions. Uh, but start using it, start playing around with it. And I'm sure that you'll, uh, you'll enjoy it as much as I do. So anyway, I hope that helps. Again, if you don't have an account, reach out. We can get that set up for you. And uh, have a great day. Go get an escrow.